And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're covering Army football. The Black Knights will be heading down to Tulane in New Orleans to play the Green Wave on Saturday. And we have a chance to talk to one of the Army captains, and that is Mike Johnson, number 59. He's from Hinsdale, Illinois. And Mike, uh, good to see you. You know, the number of games uh, left in the season is, is getting to be a, a smaller number as we're in November. How is it? How is the season going for you, do you feel? I think it's going well, you know. Um, given the uh, state of the world we're in right now, every game's a uh, every game's a blessing. So every time we get to get the opportunity to get out on the field, wherever it is, at home or or away, it's it's just awesome, you know. Absolutely, we got to be thankful for each game that uh, there's the opportunity to play. And we just had a chance to talk with one of your fellow seniors, Joe Stevenson, a linebacker uh, on the team, um, and he was just nominated for an award for the Danny Wolfel Award. Uh, uh, an official nominee, he'd been, uh, he'd been on the watch list uh, for uh, Premier Award for Community Service. Tell us a little bit about uh, Joe Stevenson. Uh, he seems like a really sharp uh, a player and cadet. Oh, absolutely. Joe's a great guy. He's a great teammate. He's, he's a great cadet, like he said. Um, I couldn't think of anybody else who, who deserves that award, so I'm incredibly happy for him. And, uh, and it's just really awesome to see him succeed. And, and, you know, like I said, Joe's just a really good guy. And, and I'm, it's awesome to see that, you know, see some recognition for him. Very good. Now, uh, you've had two weeks off. Unfortunately, the Air Force game got postponed last week. Uh, has the extra time benefited the offensive line? Uh, we always hear that uh, you guys are, you know, are pounding away every game that a, a rest can be beneficial. Has this time, extra time been beneficial to the offensive line? I would say absolutely, yeah. We get an extra chance to work on our technique and, and our technique is a huge part of our game. So uh, every day, just finding that little thing, uh, having that open mind and finding that little thing to to work on that day to perfect your craft and overall help the offensive unit um, move the ball down the field. So with the extra time, it's come, come more practice and more and more reps with these techniques. So I think uh, it definitely is definitely has benefited the offensive line. Yeah. And certainly your coordination, you've had a, had a, a number of quarterbacks play this year. And uh, I always think the offensive line, has really helped the young quarterbacks uh, 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 get established and get uh, get some big plays. And then also you've got the fullbacks that uh, have really been uh, able to open up and generate yardage for it. How has it just been working with the quarterbacks and the fullbacks uh, uh, this season? Oh, it's awesome. We have a great uh, great relationship with uh, quarterbacks and, and the B-backs, uh, regardless of who's in, in any position. Uh, you know, we like to take it upon our shoulders on the offensive line, help those guys out and help those guys succeed. And, and, you know, uh, just overall uh, get that ball moving down the field. So um, it's really cool seeing a, lot, a whole ton of people be able to get on the field and be successful. And that's something that uh, makes us happy at the offensive line. We love seeing everybody succeed. And uh, this year, I think we've seen maybe a little bit more of that. But it, it's overall, it's awesome just working with every single one of them, uh, every single quarterback, every single be back. And, and, you know, we look forward to it every week and every day. And we, I got to mention the the great moment in the Mercer game at the end when uh, uh, your fellow senior Jordan Blackman, uh, senior wide receiver, uh, was in at slot back and he uh, got the ball and you guys got some some room for him. I think he carried three defenders into the end zone, but that was really a great moment. We had a chance to talk with Jordan last week. What a what a fine cadet he is, uh, and that must have been a great moment for everybody on the team. Oh, absolutely! It was awesome. It was great to see. Uh... Uh, Jordan get that touch on. I mean, Jordan's an everyday, everyday guy. Um, he comes to work every single day with a great attitude and a great effort. Um, and mm -hmm. there's honestly, uh, he was so deserving of that moment. And it was great to see it uh, take action on the field that Saturday. Very good. Well, we're talking with Coach Munkin a little bit uh, this afternoon about the challenge of of uh, Tulane, uh, uh, four and four. They've uh, won their last two games. And I noticed on their defense, they generate a lot of sacks. Uh, one defensive end, I think, has nine sacks on the year uh, so far. I think uh, it was 29 on the season for the unit. Uh, what do you see in the uh, Tulane defense as challenges? They certainly seem to be aggressive. Uh, Tulane defense, I mean, they're well coached. Uh, they're, they're good athletes. They play hard. Uh, they play physical. They play aggressive. Um, but bottom line, it comes on just our execution, um, our ability to do, you know, our 111th of, uh, of our job of the whole, the whole offensive unit. So bottom line just comes on execution. But Tulane is a defense. They're they're a good. They're a great defense. Uh, they work hard. You can tell, and um, they they obviously play aggressive and, and play physical. So we just got to come out with a great attitude and uh, know our assignment, and then 
just execute that that assignment every day or every play. Absolutely, I think it should be a really good game, two good teams, and a quite and a challenge for you, but uh, be an interesting one. Uh, what's it like to just uh, look forward to getting on the plane and and uh, and and arriving down in another city and getting a chance to play a college football game after being off for a few weeks? Oh, it's awesome. I mean. I mean, it feels like Mercer was uh, was a whole long long time ago, you know. So um, it's great to finally get back out there. Uh, like as like I was saying earlier, just every every chance you get to go out in the field on a Saturday, um, it, it you know it's a blessing, and, and you got to cherish those moments. And uh, you know the games are coming down. We're towards we're in November, we're towards the end of the season. So each game just keeps getting bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, it's just a great feeling going out there too. Well, Mike Johnson, great to have a chance to talk with with you for a few minutes. Uh, uh, you play left guard, is that correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely, number 59 from Hinsdale, Illinois. Great to chat with you. Great to watch you uh, uh, just uh, be a senior at West Point on the team and uh, show leadership to all, all your teammates. Uh, it's really a, a pleasure to watch you uh, play and, and to lead. So uh, really best wishes from everybody at the American Legion. We'll talk to you again very soon. Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You have a great night. Take care, you too. It's Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio covering Army football.